What's up guys? Welcome back to the Hunter with New Dog. Um So I made a boo-boo and I accidentally deleted my save file. <laughs> um very disappointed. I made so much progress that I just yeah. Um I I think I might have cried a little bit. <laughs> um but, uh, you know, I decided, what the hell, I'll take this opportunity to, um, talk about a few things that I've learned, impart some of my knowledge upon those of you who might be new to playing this game or might be interested in playing this game. Um, it's a great game, by the way. I, I absolutely love it. Every other game that I own has been put on the back burner to play this. But, um... One of the things I want to talk about is when you're first starting out, what should you do? Um, outside of going through the quick little tutorials, um, I, maybe not quick is the correct term, but going through some of the tutorials, you know, getting your first deer, getting the first outlook, or the first overlook, getting the first, um, man, I'm losing my train of thought. Getting your first uh, outlook and getting your first, um, what am I thinking of? Hunting lodge, outpost rather. When you get those, then you're kind of just free to do whatever you want. You can ignore the missions, although I do highly recommend them. Do you? I highly recommend that you do them. However, the first thing you want to do, and this is just my opinion, is if you got the game, get the uh, DLC where you get the ATV. And what you do is you go around on that ATV, you go hit up every single outlook, you go hit up every single outpost, and what that does is it gives you, it basically unlocks the whole map for you so you can go and get all the points of interest at your leisure. Um, you're not scrambling around trying to find them, you know, you're not going to one side of the map and figuring out later after you got the overlook that you just passed a point of interest that you could have gotten for experience points. Um, so I would do that because that is experience points for one. You'll probably gain a level if not two just by doing that. And it's also... Um, it unlocks all the fast travel points on the map so I mean what's let, let's take a look alright I mean unless you're like me and you enjoy walking around so you got this whole map here and you get these fast travel points like this one the outpost here um, this one here this one over here I um, I think this one, I think this was one down here. I don't remember. But, uh, <clears throat> anyways, you unlock those and you can fast travel to them. That way you're not spending all your time on foot or on an ATV scaring animals away trying to get to the spot that you want to be at. You do all that from the very beginning. You get your ATV and you go hit up all this stuff. That way you don't have to worry about it again. Um, another thing, and I think this is really important, to earn money quickly, you can do the missions as long as you have the equipment to do the missions. I highly recommend doing the missions because that is money. They, The money that you get for doing the missions is incredible. I think I did one before I deleted my save file. I got like four thousand dollars for it and I think it was to kill two black tail deer at night or to kill a black tail tail deer at night I mean it was ridiculous four thousand dollars for that plus um, for the black tail I think you get something like eleven hundred just for harvesting it so I'm looking at over five thousand just for completing that mission I mean that's a lot of ammo and it's Five six of the way to getting some of the weapons, um, so I definitely do the missions. They're they're not that hard. They're really not. 
Um, it some of them require patience. They really do. Some of them just you you can get them basically off of luck on some of them. Um, I wouldn't sweat spending a whole lot of time on missions unless you're just dead set on doing them. But it is worth doing. I know there's some people who say, oh, don't do them until you're higher in level, blah, blah, blah. I think that's stupid. Because when you're in higher in level, you've already got a crap ton of cash. You've already got most of the weapons, if not all of them. What do you need the cash for, other than to do the missions for the story portion? Um, speaking of cash, one of the quick way, quickest ways to get cash is to just hunt the crap out of rabbit, believe it or not. If you're not doing the mission, or if you've already done all the unlocking here, get yourself the 22 for your rabbits. That way when you come across a colony of them, you just take them all out because they're stupid critters. They always come back to the need zone. So you just, you pop one off, wait, they'll come back. Pop off another one, or maybe even two if you can. Wait some more, the other ones will come back. You can literally wipe out an entire colony of them by just waiting for them to come back. Um, like I said, they're stupid. They'll come right up to you in many cases. <laughs> I think I got one that was like 10 meters away from me. <laughs> maybe it was less than that. It might have been 8. <laughs> I mean, he, the thing came right up to me. Uh, so I would do those. I mean, you don't get a whole lot of cash for them. You get like $300. But there's so many of them. I mean, you take out a herd, you're going to get a grand easy. Plus, if you're doing it, you're getting your consex. You're also looking at getting higher scores. So you're going to be getting silvers in no time. And you'll probably be seeing diamonds and golds quicker than the average person just because you're hunting so many of them um, let's see for example I just started today guys or restarted I should say we go here my hunting log history this is just today from restarting you know yeah I got some deer um, but I got a whole bunch of rabbit, and actually, that's not even right. There we go. There we go. That's better. This is from today. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, my highest scoring animal, it looks like, is this one here, which was a white-tailed jackrabbit. 791. It was a silver. Almost a gold. Almost. And... I, look, I, that's all I've been doing is jackrabbits for the most part. I got, what, one, two, three, three deer and one moose. <laughs> and everything else has been rabbit. And before I bought a whole bunch of ammunition and stuff like that, I was up to 15 grand. So, I mean, that's awesome. Um, outside of the 22, I would pick up the Mosin the Gaunt as soon as you can. If you got the weapons pack DLC, you're going to get it for free. So go ahead and get your rabbits. Take them out as um, enough to get, say, 50 rounds of the Mosin the Gaunt. Get the Mosin the Gaunt. It is well worth it. It's a bigger round, and it also uh, it penetrates easier. It just has more power. I mean, you're going to kill animals from further away. Um, you're going to get quick kill bonuses easier. It's just, it's more forgiving than the 243. I'll put it that way. So as a new player, just to summarize before I end this little video, as a new player, get your ATV, unlock the whole map. Don't worry about hunting right away, except in the very beginning where you kind of have to. Um, unlock the whole map. Get yourself the 22. Get yourself the most in the gun as soon as you can. As soon as you can afford the ammo. And then from there you can just rack up the money. Um, and that's it. You get that done. And you just opportunity kill, man. Start exploring the map from there. Once you have everything unlocked, just start exploring. See what you find. Get your opportunity kills. Get your jackrabbit herds. 
Uh, when you come across your white tail and black tail, take them out. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go for elk and moose, or even bear right away, um, unless you have the drilling rifle, uh, or the drilling shotgun, whatever they call it, the drilling gun. Um, but that thing, the ammunition is expensive. So I would definitely wait until you've got some fundage before you go after those guys. And really you don't need to, um, the missions won't lead you to those for a while. Oh, um, you know, I one of the missions that I was on on this map before I switched over to the European map just out of boredom was uh, bag a blacktail deer from 200 meters away. Um, the Mosin can take care of that easy, so that's what I was using. So I mean, even in the late gameplay on say Leighton Lakes, for example. Once you get the Mosin, you're set for a long, long time. Uh, just hunting blacktail, whitetail, and rabbits, and you'll be fine. If you want to spice it up, go after the elk and whatnot, which I know a lot of people are going to be doing here in two days because um, the elk are going to be true racks. Uh, get your drilling rifle. You know, save up until you can get that. So you can get enough ammo for it, at least 50 rounds. I never carry less than 50. When I go to an outpost, I'll always up up my ammo to where I'm carrying at least 50 rounds. Um, but yeah, I mean that, that's just some quick down and dirty suggestions. And uh, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Until later, be safe, be cool, have fun. Thanks for watching, and smash that like button if uh, if I earned it. We'll talk to you later.